Good evening. Welcome to Akula 51 Talks Some About Twitter, Volume 1. Joining us in the studio tonight, Judas Priest, all the way back to 1982. That's uh, 25 pretty long years ago. Uh, pardon me, 35. Damn, I am old. 1982. Wow. The song that's playing now is called Electric Eye. Just as topical then as it is now. Uh, you know, we've gone from satellites to everything watching us. Uh, oh, well, we're just here to record a video. want to maybe give a couple hints or point people in a different direction maybe of uh, some things that I do here in Twitter. Maybe they'll help you. See my little Twitter desktop kind of looks just like everybody else's. I have a profile card up in the upper left-hand corner. Got all our trending topics. I generally choose to keep it on the United States. I'm smack dab in the middle here in the Midwest. <coughs> I've only tried this seven or eight times to do it without coughing, so that one may stay in. Excuse me. But uh, as I was saying, you know, Twitter's Twitter. One of the things I've done that uh, has kind of made my audience unique is I really haven't followed people. I just let people follow me, and then I follow them back. So my number of following and followers generally tracks pretty close to the same. Uh, every once in a while, there'll be a, a crew of scammers or whatever that come through, and they all have the same bio, and... They all kind of drop to the floor, but uh, for the most part, you know, politically, I really don't give a shit. I mean, if you uh, if you think we should have Medicare for all, I can appreciate that. You know, that's fine with me uh, that you feel that way. It doesn't mean I need to feel that way. But hey, if you've evaluated all the facts that have been presented and all the information you have at your disposal points you in a direction of saying we should have Medicare for all, I respect it. My vote will cancel it out, and that's how it should be. You know, life goes on. That sense of being able to agree to disagree seems to have uh, have gone missing, but that's neither here nor there. So this is Twitter. One of the one of the really the key things that I found early on when I started using Twitter was a thing called lists. And because I don't follow people that don't follow back, there's a lot of people that you know. Wow, I wanted to see their tweets. Obviously, once you have a thousand or two thousand uh, folks that you're following, you can't really see much. It it flies by pretty fast. Trust me. Once you get to ten thousand, it's it's even more useless. But I started building lists, and uh, a list is just a set of people in in a a little bundle. You can have public lists, and you can have private lists. And you build these lists up of people that tweet the same, you know, or different types of people, different types of accounts. Uh, you know, this is a, a group that does, like, uh, follow-back things and whatnot. So I put all of them in this one group. Oh, there's 39 of them in there right now. I can tell Twitter to display, you know, that particular group. I'm just going to open it in a new window real quick. Boom. This is everything that's going on within that group of 39 people. So it gives you instant access to lists that you've made of people that should be, you know, in theory, tweeting pretty much the same stuff. Or random. I mean, you could just pick all your friends from your third grade class. Uh, here's one uh, in my local area. Uh, Kansas City, Missouri, Liberty. Hey, and somebody's got some yoga. That's nice. But I, I, I add people to these lists. I take people off of these lists. That happens to be me right there. That's a t-shirt we're selling. Uh, it's kind of a continual process that, that goes on forever. You can take a list, and like I was doing, just open these in a new window. And you can interact with the list right here. You know, I could go talk to John right now and, and start going. Or you can use a package which is known as TweetDeck. TweetDeck allows you, like you, what you're seeing here is I'm in a, I'm basically in a page that has a one column of information on it. TweetDeck lets you chop 
Twitter up into basically an infinite number of combinations of, of columns. One of the things you can add to those columns, of course, is a list. One of these things right in here. When I go to TweetDeck, yeah, that's one of my sock puppet accounts there. We'll just ignore him for a minute. You can see I, I happen to have a whole bunch of columns up here. You know, this particular column is user, and it's it's one of the websites I manage, Russia Reveal. So everything in there are all of the th the tweets that have come from that particular account. Now I have the same column up for my main account. It just happens to be in a different part of the screen. You know, here's user for Akula51 again, my main account. But I can add all these columns and have all these columns associated to again either different functions like user or notifications, mentions, you, you see those a lot because obviously we're all interacting with each other. Uh, and then you can also put in lists. So this is basically how I've been able to to keep on top of things is I'll have several different lists. You know, I have a similar to a radio station. I have a heavy rotation. I have a medium rotation. I have light rotation. And then the really cool thing is, you know, let's say Let's say tonight was a big night in my hometown in Liberty. I could come in here and, oh, find a, find a hashtag related to my hometown. Well, gosh, there's just none popping up at the minute. But I could do this meet the staff. Boom. Just by clicking the, uh, the hashtag, TweetDeck goes ahead and, uh, and opens up a new column for you with that in it. Yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool stuff. Uh, you could come in and change it and say, hey, I just want to search for meat now. Boom, it'll go back and, and refresh the column. Uh, we're going to get rid of that column. That's <laughs> interesting. Yeah, we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll throw that one away. But the main point being, you know, once you have a number of lists built, you can then watch those lists inside a tweet deck. And that really gets you to where... You can watch a lot of things at the same time, like, whoa, hey, this just went through. I should probably retweet that. You can see when I come up and retweet something, <laughs> I get access to all the accounts that I have in TweetDeck because you, you can actually load multiple accounts in here, which is really nice as well. Gives you the ability to basically uh, watch something with a sock puppet and then interact with it from your main account. Uh, that's another technique we'll talk about next time of... Uh, basically you become unblockable when you use strategies like this so just a few minutes a couple songs from uh, my favorite album that album is 51 minutes and nine seconds that's always been very special to me uh 333 talk to y'all soon